Welcome to the second video of our intro series. This time it's about tracing links between artifacts. I already opened the tracing perspective. By the way, you can switch perspectives using these buttons here. So what do we see? On the left hand side we see the internal web browser. Generally the browser is closed, but in this case it is open to help you especially with the first steps. Feel free to close it using this button. Now we want to take a closer look at the explorer and the overview. The lower two views, the link editors, will be covered in the next video. The explorer shows all artifacts that have been extracted from the authoring tools in a tree structure. In this case, it is grouped by artifact type, but you can change the grouping. This toggle controls whether you want to see only linked artifacts. You can now expand the individual types and see the corresponding artifacts at first level. On the next level, the linked artifacts are displayed. Once you select the node, the artifacts and linked artifacts are displayed graphically in the overview on the right side. In real project, these graphs may get very large. In order to keep the overview in such cases, you can configure here the depth and other aspects in which a graph can be displayed. Zoom can be set here. Especially I would like to point out this toggle. Here you can set whether the traceability can be displayed bidirectionally or only according to the primary semantic direction of the link. In the Explorer, as well as in the Overview, you can navigate to the respective artifacts in the authoring tools with a double click. This is true for built-in authoring tools like the Eclipse C IDE, but also for external tools like Word, as we've already seen in video 1, and Excel. Of course, the selection is also transferred back. If you select the test case in Excel here, the selection is propagated back to your Kindle traceability, and we can directly look at this particular test case's traceability. So much for the first overview of the tracing perspective. In video 3 we will look, as promised, at how to create links.